Hey guys, welcome all of you to the Ohm Institute. Best platform for EC and EE and all technical examinations, GATE, Engineering Services, PSU and all state level examinations as well. Now while preparing for a national, you know, highly competitive examination like GATE, you should always be strategic in your approach and strategy always means knowing, okay, which subjects are more important and also most weighted. Okay, although, you know, to be a ranker, the first point I always say is you have to conquer each and every subject because if you miss one subject or two subjects, you are competing maybe out of 85 you are, or out of 90, okay, and you cannot be a topper in that particular case. So be at the top then, you have to cover all the subjects. Okay, maybe you are good at some subjects, maybe you are slightly weak in some of the subjects that's okay you know, that is there with everybody okay but yes at least you should have covered all the subjects okay now i've done a you know analysis for you key based what past five years as well as past 15 years what is the number of uh, marks coming up from each and every subjects of electronics and communication similar video will bring for w also separately okay so let's have a look into this let's start uh, having a look into it okay and now before i directly go into the subjects of ec let me just for a two minutes let me all quickly tell you that yes you are all aware that gate is a 100 marks and how is that 100 marks distributed and how much is for technical okay so it's broadly classified into three parts okay number one goes to the general aptitude which is 15 marks okay you're all aware the pattern just one minute let me just brief this one every to everybody with general aptitude for 15 marks which contains these four different sections okay this Second followed by engineering mathematics, which will comprise of six to seven chapters. Okay, but very, very important. Okay, because you know, once you are strong in mathematics, it will help you learn and understand technical more and more because a lot of things like calculus, vector calculus, also differential equations, okay, probabilities all required, you know, in your electronics and communication engineering studies. Okay, so you know, maths will be definitely a, a critical success factor of getting the top rank because it makes you, you know, uh, some, 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 you know, really good in technical at the same time, 13 marks. And 13 plus 15 now this is a clear rank booster and actually these two are rank boosters so you have to maximize your marks out of this 28 that is the non-tech part now remaining 72 marks is pure technical syllabus okay the syllabus of whom is branch specific around 8 to 10 subjects will fit into it based on the branch for ec it will be eight subjects actually okay and for most of the subjects it is eight to nine marks and ec it is almost pretty much similar distribution of marks for other branches like double e or uh, you know mechanical there are a lot of variations you know some subjects very low weightage some subjects high weightage okay now in ec specifically what are the eight subjects and what have been their weightage over the past years let's have a look into it let's have a look into it okay so i've collected the data for all of you way back from 2010 okay way back from 2010 the reason is 2010 is the year from which this pattern has been started okay the pattern okay i mean uh, uh, this complete pattern only thing is mathematics was not fixed for 13 marks from 2021 mathematics was fixed for 13 marks okay but all these portions are there 2010 65 questions okay so why i'm taking from 2010 because there are total 65 questions since that year only okay 65 questions 180 minutes 65 questions also divided as 31 mark and 32 mark okay out of which 10 questions are general aptitude Okay, rest belong to maths and technical combined. 55 questions, maths and technical will be there. Okay, so that is why I've collected the data from 2010 because that is the pattern running till 2024 if I talk about the current year. Okay, so uh, you know, this is for your reference. Let me just not read out because this, is, this will be just reading. So I've collected the data. Everybody can take the screenshot and note on this. Let us more focus on the average. Okay, I've also taken out the average separately. Let's have something to discuss based on average. Otherwise, this will just become a reading activity. So yeah, if you want, you can just take a screenshot also i'm just aside you want you can take the screenshot so that you have complete data in front of you okay but at the same time you must be able to observe that iits are unpredictable suppose if i take the network only many times it is five six marks but sometimes they can go to 12 marks 15 marks 12 marks okay that means that's what i told you you cannot neglect any subject because sometimes that subject may be more okay of course less chances most of the you know uh, you know higher weighted subjects will be those which are reflected by the average also i will show you the average of them on the next slide but suppose in your particular year network comes to be on the higher side then you know and if you discard that subject and you can't anyways discard network because you'll not be good in analog circuits in that case okay so all subjects are important now let's talk about the average then Okay, if I talk about the average, so aptitude always has been fixed 15 marks. Maths, now it is fixed 13 marks, but earlier there was variation. Okay, so mathematics for 11. Okay, but now, okay, now. It will be 13. Okay, now it will be 13. Right, now it will be 13. Okay, now still 
I'll tell you one more thing. I'm telling you 13. You might be wondering, ki look into this 24. Sir, mathematics 9 marks. So IIT is telling that it should be 13 marks. Why they have changed themselves? Okay. Or last year 11 marks. No, it is not like that. The problem, the point is, see, there are, suppose a question of random variable comes. It may be put in maths. It may be put in communication for EC. Okay, it can be put in both. Okay, random process is purely in communication, but random variable question. Okay, or some basic vector calculus, calculus question can be in EMT also, can be in mathematics also. So like that, okay, some topics in EC, you know, can be fit here and there. So that is why you may see variation. Okay, so that question may be mathematical, but somehow related with communication or EMTL. That is the reason you might be seeing these fluctuations. Yeah, let's come to this average slide now. So as I told you, highest uh, is, you know, communication, uh, the way average is 11. Okay, then you have analog circuits average 10, electromagnetics 9.33, signal and system 9.27, EEC 9.13, digital 8.47, control 8.4, network 8.4. So you're not able to see much variation as well. You know, there's there's no much big difference between 8.4 and 9.27 also. Okay, it's not like that you have to focus on the subject with 9.27 and you have to discard this. Okay, it is just an average analysis just to set up a priority and preference and just to have the data. Okay, what actually has been happening in the past years. Okay, yeah, I'm telling you in branches like double E if you go, okay, the weightage of digital individually or analog is low, measurement is quite low. So there are subjects in double E, you know, two, three subjects which are low weightage. Okay, similarly in other branches also there are subjects which are low weightage, but in EC pretty much on the similar line. I have collected, taken the last five years apparently because last four, five years will tell you more accurate trend where IIT is focusing more based on the technology, based on the research going on. Okay, so you know, they're also pretty much uh, similar, similar results only. Okay, uh, yeah, of course, uh, digital circuits are uh, slightly having higher and I'll really reason also. Okay, because from 2021, you have a question of COA and that is a part of digital. Okay, there is one question of COA and that is put under the part of digital, although COA itself is a subject. Okay, but in gate, they have put it some portions of COA under their digital electronics. Okay, so, you know, one question of one mark, sometime two marks. Okay, they, they are coming up from 2021 onwards. So that is the reason of, you know, increased weightage of digital here in this particular case. Okay, uh, so that's what it is. And also, you know, majority, I'll, I'll say, to be honest, I've done MTech from IISC Bangalore. So, you know, in current date also, take to any top IIT or IISC Bangalore or even top NIT, the placement, okay, is majorly on the VLSI side, that to digital VLSI. Most of the placement in our country is digital VLSI. Hardly there are any placement happening, happening for analog VLSI. That is also the reason that digital, you know, definitely is expected for a student to be better. Although it's easy, okay, but you know, for most of the students, it is easy till combinational part. But if you're actually good, okay, with the sequential circuit part, okay, with the, you know, flip-flops, counters, finite state machines, setup time, hold time, every, you know, timing violation and timing constraints, you know, then only you're good at digital and that will help you a lot in the masters as well and in the placement section as well. Okay, so guys, more or less, uh, you know, EC, you have to consider each and every subject important, but again, if you're able to see communication, analog, electromagnetics, Signal systems, electronic devices, these are the top five, usually having higher weightage, okay. But at the same time, let me also tell you, again, I'm repeating very small variation, okay, in, you know, digital control network, but at the same time, for a student point of view, easy to study digital, easy to study network, easy to study control. These are more easy. Signal system, also many students face difficulty, okay, but these are usually for every student, it is easy. Okay, and there cannot be a lot of difficult questions coming up from here. Maybe ma maybe just one maximum, but mostly you know, all questions are conquerable. But signal and system, you can get a lot of good questions framed. EDC, electromagnetic, analog communication. These are the areas where actually good questions can be made. So these are the subjects where you'll require time to prepare. Okay, these are the subjects you can prepare easily. Okay, and also having similar weightage. Okay, so focus all. Okay, so this was a small video highlighting these five subjects I have separated also and shown you. I, I just made a short video also, uh, you know, earlier to uh, talk about these subjects. Alright guys, so you know, this is a small video, okay, not to elaborate much, but just to tell you about uh, the EC subject wise weightage distribution, past 5 years also separate analysis we have done, past 15 years also, similar such video will bring you for double E also, don't worry. Okay, this is Rakesh Chalraja signing off and if you want more such content without miss, without a miss, do not forget to subscribe to our channel that is the Ohm Institute so that any type of content coming up, you'll be automatically notified if you are subscribed and then if that video is useful for you, you can watch it up, otherwise you can skip it up. Bye bye, thank you, stay safe and do take care of yourself.